Hail, travelers. Yo. Hail. Are we worlding? Are we ending? <laughs> All right, let me turn some people up. Okay. Am I low? No, 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 no. Gem is in Hades wise a little bit. I can it do be turn myself up. Chad. East. <laughs> you die. Good game. No. All right. <laughs> so. Session end. <laughs> Yummy. Before we die, I actually had one question from last session. Yeah, that, what's it up? It might be a whole world question. You mentioned that there were nine schools of magic. Yeah. What was the ninth one? What a great question. Anyway. Is that common knowledge? No. The ninth okay. school is not common knowledge. Okay. All right. Let's get it. Do, 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 do. We're not going with the whole person plan. Nah. Okay. It's um, not no, he would, he would kill you instantly. <laughs> no, please. Try. Mm -hmm. ba -ba -ba -ba, I'm dying. I want to see you try. I know only death. An infinite pain that watches us over us all. I'm sorry. Running out of meal to save the day. I'm afraid I can't let Same. you do that. It's a wonderful day to die. Oatmeal's oh, got this. Yeah. Flies into the fire, kills himself before <laughs> my, my, my All right. is so him. to get everybody caught up, oh, pretty sensible. last time on Greed and Guilt, uh, the party decided to throw their Tome of Trials, a powerful Taladonic artifact, into the forge, which would transfer the energy into the ritual, completing it. This is what we like to call in the business, not potters. As doing so caused, well, a malfunction in the ritual as it has been overwhelmed with magic, causing the seal on the Sheet of the Legion to break, and the prisoner that was once bound within it to be released. Oh boy. For the sake of posterity, we did not know that he was trapped in there. You didn't know any of that stuff. You just you just saw a ritual and thought, I'll just fuck with that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now we are about to find out. Alright. <laughs> well, here to be we fair, go. it was funny. <laughs> no, 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 no. Give me. All right. So, couple of things. Uh, okay, just needed to check your positions. Curio, make me an immediate arcana check as this creature uh, convalesces in front of you. Okay. So, right off the bat, this is a fight you can't fight. It's not happening. Do not try. Just to be very clear. In case there was any uh, illusions. As the creature uh, finishes its corporealization, it holds the Sheet of the Legion in its hand and a wicked-looking staff in the other. You see the creature take a deep breath. Finally, I am free. Creature will take a slow look around the room. Hmm, an advanced ritual. One that, ah, you must be a servant. As he turns and looks towards Curio. Human, get for me your master. Understood. There is an echo from the other room. Did it work? 
Yes, we must find uh, Zarkel. Bring him. Um, should we try the crown? I'm I'm looking at Leon with eyes of like I'm going to die, and then I'm just ignoring him and walking forward towards the elevator. You can see genuine terror in his pupils. When Kira's in the elevator, he's gonna wait maybe like three seconds for Leon to finish before pulling the lever. Okay. As you pull the lever, nothing happens. Make me an Arcana check. I, I think I know what happened. All right, as you have overloaded the ritual, the magic in this area has been, shall we say, disrupted. And it seems that the magical pieces of the elevator do not function. As such, the elevator does not function. So now, you need to figure out how to fix it if you want to descend. Jem. Jem, can you fix it? I mean, I'll try, but... Why are we going down? Who, who are you talking to? Uh. <clears throat> what is this? I'm gonna press and against the side of the there? elevator. <laughs> this individual uh, will walk into the room and will notice the prismatic colors swirling in the midst of these strange corpses. Such advanced necromancy. How interesting. Oh. Who's that? Kiryu. Who's that? He's not even scroll. Great, great. Um, I don't think he's Zarkel. Um. Uh, what does he want? He uh, wants he us to he... fetch our master who made this war servants. Uh, uh, well. Sire. It seems our contraption that would take us to the master doesn't Your lips work. disappear. <laughs> you dare to speak to me out of turn? I just bow. You, human, pointing to Curio. Why are you still here? You were ordered to get your master. Seems the magic required for the ritual to bring you back was also some of the magic needed for this contraption to bring us down to our master. Such inefficient design. Very well. Clear the way. Immediately gets out of the way. Why are you leaving the elevator? Uh, sorry. Am I to go unadorned and unserved? Ridiculous. Mm -hmm. The elevator will be sealed, twisted, broken, and then put back together again. Better. A more efficient design. Pull the lever, servant! Scampers over, pulls the lever. Pull the lever. Oh boy. Oh dear. Oh my goodness. So, um, a couple of things. Um, make me several perception checks amongst all of you. Just, just roll them. guys don't really see anything. Okay, that's a problem. All right, all right, all right. I noticed my knees are shaking. Okay. Is my shadow in here? I am here. Hello. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and get him to the next room. So, uh, what brings you to Conflux? Yeah. 
Did you actually ask him that? No, 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 okay. God. <laughs> Sir. Man, these elevators seems taking forever. Oh, God. This is so gnarly. Do we get elevator music as we descend to our death? Nope, just awkward, overwhelming silence. Speaking of silence, because it's almost time for movies time. All right, let me know when you guys are loaded. I'm loaded. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Yep. oh yep. Billy. I, I see a lot of strong bonded ones. Da, da, da. I'll grab my stuff from horse. Just awkwardly hand you over the bag. Holy fuck, dude. Liplessly. I miss your lips, Horace. <laughs> I miss my hair. That's gonna put a damper on the yaoi art. Feels lipless, man. I mean, I already have the scars on the, my, my, my... I can make another one. So good. Holy shit. This is no kissable lips, man. Shit. <laughs> no lips at all, bro. This is nothing. Uh, I'm gonna miss those. <laughs> Just uh, give me a second, loading some stuff here, getting everything ready for this. Is anything about shit. him an illusion, or is it all? Nope. What you see is what you get. That's 100% bad news. No fake, OG. no, no fake news here, Billy. That's just not good. Mm. Mm. Holy mm. shit! Holy fuck! <laughs> 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 Sorry, Sorry. It's an air is that World you? War II bombers, bro. You ever just it's have an, an air strike? Ever have an airplane, bro? That sounded like a fucking... Like a bomber. Yeah. <laughs> Time for death! Man, this was such a cool boss fight, too. God damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry that we are still alive. Is he getting deleted? <laughs> yep. Damn it. Come on. Oh, that, that was a boss fight in this room. Hello? You didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. Ignore. Don't. Don't look at that. What are you doing hey, over no there? no attention to the man behind the curtain. Stop. I accidentally, I accidentally put a, a macro as a, as a chat instead of scrippers. I, I accidentally the stairs. I don't think we were ever winning whatever the boss fight was anyway, with as few resources as we have. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Mr. Kingdale, do these stairs go up or down? Are you actually asking him that? <laughs> no, no. <Okay. laughs> what, if, if, if I you. address him in any way, I'll, I'll keep the jokes to him. If I address him, I'd be like... I'm just, I'm just saying, you let me know. You wanna, <laughs> you wanna play that dangerous oh. game, my guy? I want to so bad, but Curio is about to piss himself, so I don't think he's even making eye contact. He's answering you in a very interesting language. Disintegrate. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> what would that word mean? <laughs> it's a strange word. I've never heard that before. Okay, so here's what happens. As the elevator eventually gets to the bottom, uh, 
the door will slowly open and you will see just all this. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me get a handout on the big guy, since the others are just servants that have been seen before. <laughs> yes. Yo. Oh shit. Oh. Full metal alchemist. Oh shit, indeed. Ibs on his armor. Full metal alchemist. Good luck with that. Alright, let's go ahead and drop those. And, uh. God, what do I want to use here? No. Give me, uh... Not that one. That was loud. Oh. Sorry, that one was... <laughs> loud. I'll just keep this one. Alright, so, the door opens, and the entirety of the room turns around as this creature walks towards you. One moment, please. Let me just make some adjustments here. Is it distracted enough by the prince? Maybe we can book it up the elevator. Does this sound like a suit? Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. It's kind of like yeah, a kind of walkie-talkie under a mask. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was going for. All right, just wanted to make sure it was working. All right, this man will approach and will say, "Halt! Who goes there?" The Elven individual with you will raise an eyebrow and stroll forward. Are you the leader of this uh, establishment? Not this foray? I am the Cypher Prince, direct servant to the Silent King. Who are you, stranger? <laughs> I am Marcellus Kingvale. At your service. And yet I do not feel that you are the arcanist responsible for this place. In fact, dare I say from the rituals upon the sarcophagi that I am gazing upon, you are a thief and are seeking to steal what is not yours. Are you with the Taladani? That you would dare to speak to us? Or shall you be silenced, wizard? <laughs> All of his allies melt. You seem to have mistaken me, child. I am no normal wizard. And you are in over your head. Now, tell me. Why are you here? Despite the uh, demonstration of power, the Cypher Prince stands his ground. I am servant to the Silent King, of those that would silence those like you, who would misuse their powers and their voices. Yes, that's all very well for what you are, but why are you here, in a place that is not your own? We are here to silence one of the Council. And if necessary, even you. <laughs> so brave. And yet, so fragile. Alright, Marcellus will take this man's skeleton out of his body. And then he will make the skeleton pick the pieces of him and throw himself away. 
as a normal person do, yes. And then you will see him stretch. Oh, it is good to use magic again. Come forward, servants. Yes, Does he Lord. have a mantle? Oh, if you touch his cape, he doesn't want you to touch his no, cape. No, no, I'm like... Does he have a mantle at all? Uh, what do you mean mantle? Like a long-ass cape type of thing? Oh, no, 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 no. He has robes, though. Hmm. I'll just uh, stay at a ten feet distance. Hmm. Interesting. Yes. It would seem that your master is still sealed beneath this sarcophagi. Interesting. Most interesting. Well, I am to thank him for his servant's assistance. I shall free him for you. Okay. So. Holy shit. All right, guys. <laughs> couple of things uh, I need you guys to really, really think about. And I need you guys to discuss it amongst yourselves and make sure that you are 100% behind whatever decision you make next. Mm. Marcellus Kingvale releasing Zarkel is not good. Why? Well, for many reasons uh, that are pretty straightforward by just you witnessing it. First of all, you get that the hand of Zarkel's previous inclination was to see that the tomb was sealed and remained as such. Why that is, you don't know for certain, but you can extrapolate whatever you wish. Whatever you wish. So you have a choice. You can attempt to stop Marcellus Kingvale from what he is doing, or you could choose to aid him, or you could choose to leave. It is up to you. All of these are dangerous. None of these are guaranteed. But you get to choose your own fate. Mm. Mm. I think the best thing to do would to explain to him... Well, even as I say that, it's probably a bad fucking idea to even talk to him, but explain to him that... Uh, Zarkel's wishes were to be left sealed. But also be like, we're not gonna fight him if he chooses to unseal him. He seems to be, he seems to have some kind of, um, not honor, but like dignity about him. So, there I is a say, way of talking to him. I will say it's not dignity, it, I will say it's curiosity, because... He seemed to be very interested in his work, and uh, it feels like he wants to know more rather than thank. Because I mean, yeah, this guy looks sense. evil as fuck. Um, but I say either we leave or help because. I don't think we can stop him. I think leave or help as well. But we might we might have some luck in um, letting him know that the Master's wishes were not to be awoken. But also, be, respectfully, we will give him the decision. The ultimate decision. Like we won't get in his way. Did I have the key? Or do more curious? Uh, I got the key. Have you watched the movie? I have no mouth, but I must scream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm living that. Mm. I mm -hmm. want to be this as well safely as I can. Quill has been to look um, this whole time, but they yeah, think right. at this point that if they tried to, they wouldn't be able to escape. I, just, I don't think we could just turn around and walk up the elevator. Like, we have to, like, try to get lucky. He, re he rearranged the entire do, architecture with a thought. Yeah. We, we and the architecture of that like, gentleman. 
we could say something like, oh, we have to prepare the tomb for our master's release or something like that and book it. Mm, that's a lot. Uh, that's you need to, you probably e see right through that. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, probably. I have a plus seven of deception. <laughs> yeah, let go try. Um, um, well, what, what I do? don't think lies will really work. Yeah, interact and say, give him a little bit more of the truth and say, we were told not to wake him up respectfully, but we'll assist you if that's what you want to do. Or That's also a lie. Try. No, no, that was, um, that's the truth. We were told by the hand not to wake him up. Um, no, we didn't. We... Yeah. Did we? Uh, no. I was yeah, like, that's oh, why we were, we were stopping the silence. It was so that he must remain, he must not be reawoken. That was the hand's last words. Yeah, that was the whole point of all this. Um, yeah. well, uh, among other may, things, but. Can we just say, like, some, uh, somebody has to fucking risk their ass in order to persuade this motherfucker? I'll do it. You're gonna do it? You have the charisma right. to do it? <laughs> I already made a new character. Oh, right. Well, very oh, well. Um, and also, it, also he, he seems to have the most rapport with me as he sort of points at me to do shit, so I figured I'd go up if, and say... Well, if one of us is going to... If you're going to die, we're all going to die, so, I, I mean... Yeah. Well, like, 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 might as just, well... Just, just say... Oh, Our masters. It might as well go to the person with the highest deception. Our master motifs. No, that'll be. It won't be deception. Might not be just honest. fucking match with you, dude. Like that kind of a deal, you know? Like, um, uh, I mean, we would rather serve somebody as outstanding as you rather than to see our master reason from the grave to to oppose you and you such potential or some shit like that. I don't oh. know, fucking. Uh, I think if I were to speak, this is what I would say. Um, we were told to not um, ra uh, raise our master, but the ultimate choice is up to you. However, if he is going to uh, be unsealed, we should go and prepare like the upper parts of the of the of the tomb while you do that and that would be that would be the deception that would be us like escaping essentially i don't we think can... we should even attempt to deceive him at all we can you don't. try to do no. something like oh um well uh like sir we have been hurt pretty bad while I mean, trying to stop the others beast. If Zarkel gets raised, we're, it's, it's gonna expose us as non-servants. So, we're fucked up if we stay here. No, no, we, we have the aura and the crown. We're also marked by the hand. So yeah. technically we are servants. Are we yeah. really servants? Well, the mark of the hand was enough to at least have the same magical signature as this, which is possibly one of the reasons why Marcellus Kingville did not think you tomb robbers. Also, you actually um, woke him up, so there's that. Yeah. Um, I think at least one person has to stay here and be like, Oh, um, sir, uh, we have been hurt pretty bad fighting against other uh, people you just killed. Um, can we be excused to rest while this person serves you and while you are waking the master? Something like that. How would that work? Oh, that's technically not a lie, so he has better odds of. So, I'm thinking about kneeling, asking permission to speak, expressing that we are servants of the servant, the hand, and that the hand told us not to awaken the master. And that if, uh, if he wants, if he seems, if he thinks that's a good idea, we will assist him, and we'll leave it up to his wisdom. I'm, I, I'm, I'm for that, uh, but we might follow up, you know, with more info. Yeah, then... Yeah. So going on to me, um, asking for permission to speak, if granted, uh, maybe giving the key. Should we give the key? Uh, yeah, I'll do that as well. Yeah, presenting the key and asking. Oh, uh, we are the servants of the servant. Um, 
and the my our higher up said master should be sealed but if you wish to uh, unseal him may the rest of the party be excused and well do while you do so and uh, speak with our master is that the plan right. as long as the um, second part is time included, is running I'm, out i'm okay with it time's running as long out as the second part is included i'm okay with it whether he wants our help or not i mean up to him but okay we'll, we'll see it. we'll see how he responds to the first part sure yep yeah let's see i'll take a knee and i'll, I'll say uh permission I'll to speak Permission granted. We are servants of the Hand of Zarkel, and the Hand of Zarkel is a servant of Lord Zarkel. The, the Hand's wishes that the Master not be awakened. But if your wisdom sees that he must be awakened, then we may assist you. Oh, is that so? He will cease casting his magic. I was under the impression you wished to save your master, but if you wish him to remain sealed and that is his orders, then I do not wish to, well, besmirch his orders. That would be quite rude of the assistance that he has provided. Very well. I shall leave him undisturbed. However, there is quite the conundrum. I wish to be thankful to my would-be host for releasing me from the sheet of the Legion. And yet, I am also without servants. Ah! I shall put his servants to good use and return them when he awakens. That, I believe, is best. He will reach into his robe and he'll pull out a small sack of gold coins and place them on the sarcophagi. I believe this should cover the cost of the flesh. Now then, all of you, I require servants. Step forward, speak your name and your skills. Be quick about it. I he will He will give Horus lips. Ah, uh, uh, Horus, a capable fighter. Hmm, yes. And a craftsman. I see. Very good. Leon, uh, Warlock, Affinity with Fire. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Next. I'll Will Blue Blight. I'll give it My specialties are in the shadows. I am skilled with a bow. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'll, I'll bow. I see Jen. I'm, I can sing. I can dance. I can be witchy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Don Curio, illusionist, wizard, and student of knowledge. Ha! A novice wizard. Very good. Well then, you're not the best servants I could hope for, but it seems that I am stranded in a strange land, of whom's manner and ley lines I do not recognize. Hmm. Very well. You shall come with me. Oh, but not like that. He will heal all of you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, above board. Do we tell him about the teleporty planet? Oh, there will be no above board. Not in Marcellus's presence when you have his attention. Oh, Everyone, Just... please give yourselves a long rest. Oh, right. long rest. Um, may we know the name of our master? Yes, you may. I am Marcellus Kingvale. And my appropriate title, I suppose, is Archon. He'll say with a smile, with a little sneer in it. Should we address you as Archon Marcellus, then? Or Master Marcellus? I believe it is more appropriate to refer to me as Archmage. But in either case... It matters not, as long as it is done so with deference. Truly, I am not a stickler for such things. In either case, it is unfortunate that you are all human, as your service will be limited. But we make do. 
Now then, tell me of this place that I have found myself. Whom among you can speak the best? I think Cheerio, maybe. Archmage, Marcellus, we are in a land known as Conflux. It's a continent. Uh, we are new arrivals a few months ago. As a few months should surely be enough time to tell me where we are, this Conflux. Is that the name of this region or the entirety of the continent as you stated? The entirety of the continent. The region is known as Sarkozia. And specifically, Sarkozia. we are in a tomb of a Taladonic mage known as Zarkel. I see. And that tomb is within a city, um, the noble district of Sarkozia. I see. Well then, there are quite a few things that need to be done. We must find a ley line, and we must find a place where I can restore my mana. I already feel it dwindling in this place. Archmage Marcellus, there is a crystal, uh, perhaps fulfilling your demands. Indeed. Upstairs. Hmm. Very well. Place it within your mind. I'll do a run-through of the layout of the place in its entirety as, uh... I'll... I'll also place the entirety of the shenanigans with the crystals, plus the things on, like, uh, the mural about crushing the crystal and the force wall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With the creature behind it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll be right back. My food's here. <clears throat> Why is the servant thinking about chicken nuggets? <laughs> Very well. We shall go and investigate. All right. He teleports you guys here. <sighs> <clears throat> Well, well. It has been quite some time since I have seen this material. Hmm. How interesting indeed. An intricate forming of negatia. A focus upon the central crystal. Ah, I see. They have formed a sort of storage container. The sh crystals will shatter, and the large blue one will be conjured forth into his hand. Interesting. The filters upon this crystal appear to be crafted in a curious manner. Very good, servant. I shall allow you to lay with a woman. Who is he speaking? To? Wait, a woman or D? Yeah. He doesn't really... He does not stipulate. Um, no, like, what, what did you say for me? He said, very good, servant. I will allow you to lay with a woman. <laughs> uh, to the horse, right? Here he goes thinking, like, right now? To the party. <laughs> I, 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 I spilled the beans about the, the crystal and the force wall. All right. Marcellus will take a moment, take a look at the crystal, and pocket it. Still, there is a distinct drain on my power within this place. I must be careful unless we find ourselves stranded. Describe to me the surrounding area. Um. Yes, sir. Um... We are in a stasis zone to prevent flux storms. That might be the case of your uh, disturbance in your power. Too slow. Someone speak faster. Upstairs, flux storms cause a lot of magic. Uh, creatures can summon forth things from the sky as magical result. 
Perhaps that will interest you. Too uh, simple. Someone uh, with a higher vocabulary, please. F to Curio. Who was he asking in specific? To describe uh, the surrounding area. I'm back, sorry. Right above the tomb is the Noble District. It's a part of the district. And it's a city of uh, relatively high magic in Taladani. Surrounding that, there are wastelands and a favela owned by somebody named the Dawn. There are creatures that roam the night and storms that tear the land. We have not traveled too far. I see. Disappointing. We must simply leave this tomb. It is draining upon my mana. Do you have a place where you filthily sleep? There's the joke. Not accustom you, Archmage Marcellus. For it is barren. Ah, I see. Oh, this is most unidealistic. Well then, we will have to make do. Hmm. Let us see. I'll cast a spell and kind of hold a, an orb up in front of him. The surrounding area appears to be contorted by the wild magic. Much of this city is broken and despondent. A large scar across it. Hmm. Hold on. What is this? Now that is truly interesting. Ruins seem to dot this place. That will suffice. Come along! <laughs> <laughs> Neville will get used to this. All right, I've got good news and potentially upsetting news. The good news is, hey, you guys completed greed and guilt. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Let's yeah. go! <laughs> Great. Not like this. You guys did it. You guys completed the storyline. Oh, sweet God. Man. When he saw the, um, the vision of the layout, did he see the um, map of Verum? The room that could teleport. He was he was divining the local area. Okay, so all right. Here's here's what we're gonna do. First, we're gonna go into the thinking room. All right, and we're gonna <laughs> I'm gonna walk you guys through are... this. Uh, And I hate servitude so much. Ugh. You hate what? He seems nice. Ser serving someone else. Well, Ugh. you're really not gonna oh. like serving him. <laughs> you're really I actually not really like the guy. You're really not gonna like it. Um. Uh. <laughs> Eric, victory. True. I'm trying to figure out how to explain this. So. Okay, so what happens is that Marcellus uh, summons you above the city of Sarkozia, uh, and you are all standing on an opaque platform that he is using to kind of fly above the city. He is looking around and sort of divining. He isn't really asking you for any input that much. When he does, the questions are short to the point. Uh... It seems that he's looking for a, a high output of necromantic energy. It seems that he mentions that the Ardent is too full of radiant life energy and would disrupt his magics. He also remarks on the strangeness of this continent and how it almost seems as if it is devoid of any natural ley lines and that the ley lines are actually being used from deep beneath the waters below. However, Eventually, Marcellus Kingvale, 
begins to realize something. He realizes that he is not the biggest player, that there are other focal points of magic. And despite this, well, as you might suspect, uh, infuriating him, and in fact intrigues him greatly, almost, almost as if he's been playing a game by himself for quite some time. And so, it seems that Marcellus has decided upon a place in which he might plant his flag. And so, Marcellus, much without really taking in your opinion, shifts the entire party away from the Ardent and into the blackened landscape of the Ashen Wastes. Race. Please load me the rotting keep. Uh, what? Uh, Woo! Oh, man. Started from the bottom, ended Never at the bottom. <laughs> Still at the bottom, depending on how this you look at it. Fuck. Well. The guild. Let me know when you've got that loaded. In case you guys are wondering, uh, that's it. <laughs> that's it for Green Guilt. Good Yay. job. We well, did it, right up. Technically, we succeeded by not waking up Zarko. So we are the heroes. And you did Be technically, wrong. technically mm -hmm. defeat the Cypher Prince. So mm -hmm. that's good. He was relieved of his architecture. He fucking... Much like the elevator. That man had his skeleton taken out and was made to take himself out like trash. Yeah. God, Marcellus is such a dick. He's such a fucking asshole. I don't know. Seems like a reasonable man. I, I like him a lot. <laughs> was this the fastest boss fight? <laughs> Did we, did we do the speed run? All right, <laughs> we did. That's a while to get there. Oh God! The fastest had some, boss had some speed bumps. Fight. No spheres. <sighs> Man. Should we be loading into a different area right now? He's he's got he's got to go grab the map from another campaign. Ah, gotcha. Import, import he's vibing. He's got to. He's got to go. I'm I'm just setting up the first floor. Yeah, I have to close this one down if I want to go get the other ones. But I set up the first floor of uh of the keep in this game. It's already in here. It's this one. Okay. So you can use that. Which one? Floor one. Floor one. Yeah, that's what it is. <sighs> Let me go transfer you. I mean, we are evil, most of us. Um, okay. I think the, are are we though? I thought we were good. The, there's nah, no good guy. You're delusional. I'm chaotic neutral, so. Yeah, uh, we got a lot of. I'm chaotic <laughs> neutral. Gem is chaotic neutral. Krill is chaotic neutral. What was your curious? The most reasonable <laughs> of all of us. <laughs> Um, by reasonably mean having an ounce of self-preservation, yeah. sure. Yeah, that's what I mean. Kyrio is, I think, true neutral. Under the delusion of having good intentions. Um, yeah, a lot of neutrals here. A lot of chaotic as well. Okay, so, I have good news and potentially upsetting news, again. The good news is, you guys now have a home base. Hey. You'll be in the Pentagon. Uh. The potentially upsetting news is, <laughs> you guys have a new base. <laughs> uh. All right, so to give you an idea, over the next few days, uh, it seems that Marcellus descends upon a keep which is in disarray. 
The knights there are fighting and vying for power on who will take the place of their once leader. As Marcellus descends down and they look up towards him, they will notice the powerful aura of magic and master of necromancy that he is to be. With a few words and a simple wave of his hand, the rotting knights gather to him like a legion. And Marcellus Kingville will then use this opportunity to build up the fortress for the next few weeks. So, here's what is going to happen. I need you guys to decide something. You can choose to try to escape the keep and Marcellus's influence, or you can choose to serve him. If you choose to escape, we will have to do a series of skill checks in order for your party to escape. If you fail, your party will be killed. If you choose to serve him, your party will be spared and an unknown effect will take place. So please, decide amongst yourselves. Shall you escape or serve? The choice is yours. And Jem really doesn't want to, but... Uh, escape where? Like, we don't know where we are. Like, we don't know where we are. We don't know where we can run. Uh, I don't think we we don't have a ranger we don't we cannot find our way in flux storms easily uh minimize, don't minimize. no no we know flux storms fucking just just like do you really think you can escape this guy no 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 there's no way nah. <laughs> i'm gonna chill here and like yo there's a whole fucking keep to maintain man like, i just got my anvil i'm ready to serve yeah, he was like, oh, he can see the world with an orb and see places. Why couldn't he find us easily? Yeah. I I don't think we have a yeah, no chance of running. Something. Yeah, Kyrio wants to glean as much knowledge from this man's power as possible. He's, he's interested in serving. Like, actually interested and not just don't want to die? Um, well, there's definitely a ratio there, but let's say 50-50. I'm gonna grab a drink while you guys decide. Yeah. Um, I'm, down, I'm down to serve him. It seems, like, serving Zarkel is kind of like serving, like, a ghost puppet. Like, we, we kind of have to figure out what he wants and not really talk to him without waking him up. Serving the Dawn is just a terrible idea. And then this guy has power and the ability I to make things I happen. See point. I see a point. For I someone who's like, much. I, I pay you money. This guy, I, I send you to like fucking un unseen levels of power, you know? I see your point. I see your and point. gives you women to lay with. I don't know if you'd be <laughs> that gracious. I am gracious for a woman that I got to lay, man. Yeah, yeah it's like... <laughs> looks if you... Yeah, the yeah, face and takes oh, off pants I'm and happy. Says, <laughs> if you oh, please them, <laughs> you don't instantly die. If I please him, he might make me his favorite consort. Let's not. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the last time we did a really good job for Don? He didn't pay us the what we deserved. We didn't That's even ask for, yeah, we didn't ask for uh, anything from this guy. Yet he rewarded us He's with been our lives. Life to us. Yes, yes. I like him. He's nice. Yeah, I don't see why not serve this guy. All right. Except he is evil, which you know he's we already dude. are. Yeah, yeah, but you know, evil aura. If you you know. Making someone's skeleton cruelty. carry his flesh. I think yeah. that's pretty. Not gonna really, lie, that really was dope. Him. That was like base. That uh, that whole power show was awesome. So, I believe 
we, I, I will serve. Yep. Yeah, but they were, they were, play, uh, no, I'm talking to chat. They were plagiarizing the, uh, the nice guys, Arkell's place. Is this Stockholm? They were the bad guys. <laughs> this <laughs> might be this Stockholm <laughs> syndrome. <laughs> no, okay, but it makes a lot of sense. It, it does make a lot of sense. Yeah. All right, embrace. embrace I like him. The... I'm I'm gonna ask him about the nice school magic and if he needs his place to be sweeped up. Maybe like knit him a sweater or something. Knit yeah. him a sweater out of your own tears, like SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> I can be his personal AC, control the temperature of the room with fire. <laughs> oh my god! All right, I'm back. What do we got? Serve. <laughs> my vote. We're serve. just gonna chill. I was serving him. I see. Serving turf. I like him. Jesus. As you wish, give me a second. We're not evil. We are. <laughs> no. Oh, well, now we are. By the way, check this map. Like, there's a lot of skulls, broken swords. This is a war zone. This place needs some tidying up and cleaning. We are gonna have. We are gonna be busy. Yeah, I like to be busy. Busy is yeah. better than not busy. B busy is better than dead. Useless ones die. This is bad. Like, in general, doing something is better than doing nothing. Yep. You gotta clean your necromantic castle, man. Yes, it shall be glorious. Bidding to our master. Holy shit, man. This is gonna be wild. Okay. Since you have chosen to serve, oops. Hold on. I gotta reload here. Holy fuck. Well, Marcellus Kingville is anything but efficient. Okay. Anything but efficient? Is anything but efficient. So, or any, he's very efficient, is what I meant to say. If not efficient. If not efficient. Okay, guys, so, let's fucking do this. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to start with Horus. Oh, no. Or, I mean, yes, please. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> Man. <clears throat> okay. So, Marcellus has a plan for you, but there's something going on, though. He doesn't like this non calcateshian mm, presence within you. He finds the whole thing very inefficient. So he's going to remake you. Oh, hi. So here's what's going to happen. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Marcellus Kingville is going to fleshcraft the Ironmonger out of you. And will instead replace, replace it with the necromantic power that he has brought over from Calcatesh. 
Essentially, mm-hmm. you will be changed. Your your fate that you have in your body will be changed to one that is tied to him. This comes with a myriad of, let's call them, bonuses. So, a couple of things. Number one, your body's going to be remade. Number two, your level four is going to be remade. And then finally, you will, be go- you will go through an exhaustive and terrible process in which you will need to make saves in order to avoid taking permanent scars and other deformities in order to serve him properly as a, as a warrior of death. Which, should you make it to the other side, you will be granted level five. Okay. Welp. Let's do it, kids. What I need to do... Well, first thing I need to do is bring up some old text. Going back to the vault. Exciting. Depends. I wonder if it's Survive. like the, the crown uh, prestige class. Mm-hmm. Because I have the crown already. I don't know, it might be something similar. He might want it. Oh boy, can't save against death. I remember this. Oh, baby. Let's fucking get it, Billy. Okay, so Marcellus Kingville will place Horus on a table, will magically manacle him, and then will conjure forth a whole set and series of different devices machinations, all kinds of shit. And we'll wait until the glorious full moon. And there, Marcellus, true to his homeland, will use the best means of martial calibration that he knows of. And that is he will ignite the ancient rites of the Night Guard to gelge you with the power of his homeland. Oh, boy. Okay. Shadows will begin to pour in through Horus's eyes, filling his head full of images of horrific beasts, terrifying creatures, and all sorts of pseudo-realistic simulated experiences. Make me a wisdom saving throw. VR training, huh? Uh, may I sacrifice anything that I already have on myself in order to give myself any edge on this? This is a pure roll. Pure roll. Gotcha. Uh, normal. Boop. Four. What? Nice. I'm both dead. My mind eats ass. Okay. Marcellus will then cover your back, cover your entire body in a thousand scratches and scars, trying to push your physical body to its limits. Make me a constitution saving throw. Better. 
That'd be great. Alrighty. Then, Marcellus Kingville will separate the traveler's soul that you have from the vessel and will realize that the body is not truly anchored and will correct this by cleansing the vessel of the ironmonger, destroying it utterly, and instead soul-sitching the hard way your soul into this vessel. Make me a d20 wow. roll. Make me a d20 roll with your uh, with your entire level. With plus four, right? Mm-hmm. Fifteen. Pretty good. All right. At the end of the procedure, Marcellus will carefully inspect your body and see that you have left some weak points. He will attempt to correct these weak points. Painfully. Alrighty. Reroll the wisdom saving throw. No bonus. Let's go, eleven. Mm-mm-mm-mm. But which one to give to you? Let's see. <laughs> hmm. A hunter and a mercenary, if that makes your choice easier, my lord. Hunter, you say? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're giving you that one then. All right, Marcellus Kingville will summon the sigil of the crescent moon and place it over your chest, gelding your body to the power of the night guard. Your level four is replaced with the lunar geld. The lunar geld does this. I'm putting it in chat for you. Discord chat, 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 chat. In notes. In uh, Discord. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Let me make it look pretty. And here you go. The Lunar Geld. You're granted a plus two to strength and constitution. You gain the ability to use the scent ability at 100 feet of accuracy. You gain a natural armor of 16. If you are wearing the Crimson Mail, your AC instead increases by two. The detriment, however, is you can no longer choose to non-lethal opponents. I cannot kill people? You cannot not kill people. I, I can, cannot not not kill people. Not okay, not okay. Kill. Yeah. Okay, that, that works for me. Yeah. Gelded, you keep using this word. I'm not sure you know what I think it means. Yes, I know what the actual definition of gelded is. I'm choosing to use it in a different definition. Okay. So, uh, from this point, I add the, all, all of those benefits to myself. Correct? Mm-hmm. What does mean send 100 feet? So, normally, you can perceive smell, but scent is an actual detection. So that means like how you would activate dark vision or true sight. You can activate scent and you see with smell. See with smell? Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Dog? Okay. Yeah, gotcha. yeah, like a wolf. 
Or a werewolf. <laughs> no, uh, natural armor basically sets my base armor class as 16, correct? Your base armor is always 16. Yeah. Shit. Okay. But armor doesn't stack unless it's crimson mail. What does a crimson mail constitute? So crimson mail is a special armor type made by the night guard to extenuate the geld. You do not have access to it at this time. All right, let's go. My turn. Oh, uh, one more thing. You are made captain of the guard. So, oh, King, so King Bell, captain of the guard, is your new revelation. I should point out, you can no longer be resurrected through the soul font. Understood. Um. Oh. Mm. So that means you have to use normal resurrection stuff. Yeah. Boop. Blip. Then we'll lie on the table. I'd really, you know, to manipulate and use the powers within this vessel, but if the Archmage prefers a different form, then please, make me even more exquisite. You got it. <laughs> Can I ask something? Uh, did Horus turn into a different race? No, he's still human. Yeah. Mostly. Human Level essence. 4, correct? correct, correct, correct. What'd you say? Level four, correct, correct. Level five. Five. Okay. You lived. Sixteen base AC is not bad. I like it. Does this iron flow stuff still work? Probably not. Mm -mm. He loses all the iron monger stuff. Sedge. No, am I gonna lose my? Madness stuff. Okay. Your turn, Jim. As Marcellus does the same thing. He purifies you of this strange revelation magic. The cursed courier courtier is removed. And you're instead given the Calcateshian power that he possesses. Oh boy. We gonna have some fun. Alright. In respect to Jem's gender, as well as her magical capabilities, Marcellus will use what little he knows of his Daltinian sisters from his homeland and will infuse you with the power of the Great Coven. So, I need you to make me a charisma saving throw, an intelligence saving throw, and a wisdom saving throw. Mm. Too many weaknesses. Marcellus Kingvel will have none of that. Reroll the charisma saving throw. Reroll the intelligence oh. saving throw. That's better. Mm. Now, what blessing to give I, you? I 
I'm giving up my body to him. Got Just it. Work on me, baby. Okay. <laughs> Step Marcellus, what are you doing, bro? Step Marcellus, I'm stuck on my own body. Please save me. Hold on, I'm reading through which one of these to give you. Yeah. Great column like witches, maybe, and... Mm. Necromancy sounds cool. Remember, I set out for a, an, an undead harem. And... <laughs> Necrophilia? Mm. Please, no. No, no. <laughs> uh, technically, it's, that's what undead is. Extreme. I just want them to serve me, not not to. Mm. Okay, okay. <laughs> I like to think the quill is just standing there, like no expression. Just like, oh, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> They're doing their damnedest to hide their reluctance and absolute hatred for this whole thing. <laughs> Join the dark side. Come on, Phil. Why does everybody think this is bad? Or you? Uh, well. You know. I mean, most of the party think it's good. <laughs> whatever. Whatever. It's... Alright. You're getting this one. Damn. Mm, I like this song. Okay. okay. You're granted the witch power, the Lady of Eyes. Man. Ooh, actually, that one might be different. Uh, yeah, I can't give you that one. Uh, I'll give you the laughing serpent. The la the laughing serpent. Excuse me. There you go. There's your level four. Mm. 
The Laughing Serpent gives a plus two to charisma and intelligence. You gain expertise in the deception skill. You gain advantage on insight checks on a creature you have succeeded in deceiving with a deception skill within the same encounter, and you deal an additional two damage with any poison damage you deal. Sounds good to me. And then finally, you're granted level five. All right, and you are granted the title of Diplomat. Thank you. That's me. Fucking hell. All right. Very curious about what's happening to Leon. Kingsville's like, what the fuck happened to you? <laughs> yep. All right. As Kingville straps you down and attempts to recorrect your body, he is given pause. Ooh. As there is a fire burning within your breast that Marcellus hesitates to interfere with. So therefore, Marcellus will allow you to keep your particular revelation, but will instead add a few additions. Let's see here. We'll give you the title of advisor. And let's see here. And Marcellus will instead conjure out of you the hidden power that your patron has granted to you. Oh, shit. You wanted this. <laughs> I worked for this. Crispy. Well done. Okay, so I need to... All right, so let's see here. Marcellus will give you the following gift as he stokes the fires within you. simple very effective the fire of service any fire damage that you deal of any kind it deals an additional 2d6 fire damage awesome okay all right next up oh and you're also granted level five
All right, who's next? Curio. Marcellus will smile as you sit down. Your apprentice level, novice knowledge and magic, kind of cute to him. As such, he will do the same that he has done to the others. He will purge away your revelation, and he will replace it with service to him and his Calcateshian power. He will give you the title of page, which means that you will serve directly under him and will essentially be the voice of the party towards Marcellus in official capacity. And he will grant unto you the power that he has gained as a mage. A mage within Calcatesh. Alrighty. So let's go get you some shit. But which school will it be? The ninth one. I, I had a question for him in the meantime. This one being like fully operated on. You're being operated on, so. Word. See, you're an illusionist. Which one of these would do well for you, I wonder? <laughs> Chat just asked what happened to the dome. <laughs> well. Extra crispy. <laughs> this is what happened. <laughs> you did get oh, some pretty nice. sweet rewards out of it. You got level five. All right, make me yeah. some intelligent saving throws. Three of them, Alrighty. Curio. Ooh. Okay. Nine twenty-five twenty. Reroll that first one. No weakness allowed. Okay. A little weakness here. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that one. All right. Marcellus clothes you in a robe of silver and grants you the power of the robe's namesake. You're granted the Calcateshian power of the silver mages. You are granted the passive ability Star Call. Star Call. Star Call is the Astral Sea flows through your magic and alights your spells. You can freely change any damage you deal with spells to the Astral Damage type. 
If you, have, if you hard cast the spell Magic Missile, they take on the appearance of comets and one extra dart is created. If you can see the stars of the night sky, your spells have their DCs increased by two, and you can critically hit with spells that deal astral damage on a 19 to 20. Oh, shit. I yo? Ah. The PS mage in common? Beautiful. No miss. Very pog. No yes, pog? Also, you're level five. Say, um, thank you, Lord Kingville. I'll bow. He says nothing as his work continues. Alrighty, Quill, come here. Ooh, boy. You're another marshal. Well, time to geld. There are names stoic and silent as I can possibly be throughout this whole thing. You got it. Make me a wisdom saving throw. Make me a constitution saving throw. Oh dear. Alright, make me a d20 roll plus four. Okay, those first two are unacceptable. Reroll the wisdom saving throw and the constitution saving throw. Damn, son. Oh, that's more like it. Alright, that constitution saving throw. Your body is racked with pain, terrible agony. You gain one level of exhaustion. Roll constitution saving throw again. Once again, more agony. Two levels of exhaustion. Roll constitution saving throw again. <laughs> Final. All right, you get through it, and your character doesn't die. How very poggers. Okay. We'd have to fuck you. This body offends me. I will replace it, and you shall be an assassin. Yes, for King Veil. Hey for glory. All right, the debonair devil is purged away, and you are given King Veil's Calcateshian power of an assassin, and you are granted the Crimson Geld. And that does this. Um, question. Can I still be revived by the soul founts since my thing didn't change? Correct. Does that non revival apply to the rest of us? Correct. There are no vessels anymore. We're ourselves. We will simply find a whole bunch of diamonds. All right, you are granted this. However, you're also granted this. Blood sucker. Another one. So the Crimson Gel does the following. You're granted a plus two to strength and dexterity, 200 feet of dark vision, a 20 foot to your movement speed, but you can no longer gain sustenance from eating food or drinking water. Now you must drink blood. Fresh blood, but it can be of any kind. Jesus fuck. Ultimate spell. Interesting. Very interesting. And you also are granted a level five. We have a werewolf and a vampire.
It's like a riddle, a werewolf, a vampire, a witch, a arson, and a star walks into a bar. Yeah. Alright, so, now, Marcellus Kingville gathers you up as he is slowly rebuilding this fortress into something more accommodatable. He has some commands for you. It would seem that although these rotted knights are all very well and good, it seems that they are not very good craftsmen, and they are mostly only serviced in war. So, Marcellus has given you the open-ended task. You are required to find him at least a hundred craftsmen. However you get them here is completely up to you. He doesn't care about the details. He just needs them to help him rebuild everything. Time limit? You have one month. Shitballs. I think we uh, hit the where, Noble District. Where are we? How far is it from the Noble District? Uh, you are currently in the Ashen Wastes. You are nowhere near Sarkozia. Marcellus, however, has been divining the area and has provided you a map that you can use. There are a few suggestions of where you might choose to look around some of the major cities, uh, major places, but you get to choose which direction you want to go and how you want to accomplish this. This is an open-ended mission. You have one month. Failure will result in you being recycled into undead servants. Mm. Very nice. Expected. Craftsmen. Mm -hmm. Like blacksmiths. Blacksmiths, All carpenters, kinds. craftsmen. All right. Anybody who can make something out of something. Oh, King Bill, do these uh, craftsmen need to be amongst the living, or should they be resurrected if brought to you? Uh, Preferably, I would like them alive first. Undead craftsmen have problems. Still not. However, you choose, however you choose to convince them to come here is completely up to you. I care not. Do try and not to bring any attackable forces here as well. I have lifted you up above the other servants that I have chosen. <coughs> Do not make me regret this. Can we find a couple master craftsmen and maybe train non-craftsmen in this Marcellus month? Marcellus leaves. He's not here to hold your fucking hand. No, no, I'm talking to Farley, sorry. I oh, think yeah. that misunderstood. Okay. <laughs> I can teach some. Yeah, um... Is it possible to raise... a hundred... in a month? We'll have to find... well, a place with at least a hundred people in it that... could be craftsmen. I think the Noble District would be... a good place to start, but we seem quite far. Yeah, Noble District is probably out of commission. Well, one of the so big cities. Yeah. One of the big cities. Every city needs a, at least a couple carpenters and blacksmith and leather workers, armor workers. They need them. Uh, we can probably find them. We can probably talk to Don, actually. Uh, he's also very far away. I, I think that's out of commission. This is the only place that we know of. Do you have a better idea? I study this map, and when we decide on a place, perhaps we could ask Lord Kingvale to teleport us there. But teleporting Sense back there. is the problem. Well, if, if it's we not have a hundred of craftsmen, we can walk, you know? Um, if we are gonna travel to the other cities, we might prepare some, like, carts to bring the people back. Walking all the way would be 
more slower than using carts and maybe mounts. It is something we have to think when we have those numbers. Exactly. Also, flux storms. We need to be careful about them. Since we will leave this place. Again, that is a post consequential situation. Just stating the condition. Do that. Uh, putting ideas out. Marcellus King, though, will return to you. You will place a satchel on the table. And then he will say, These are the funds that I have been lauding to you to use. If you do not need to use them, you may keep them for your own endeavors. You have a month starting tomorrow. If you require transportation, I can provide some, but not all. If you cannot accomplish these things, yourselves, then I will find those who can. Sorry. Lord King we'll Bill, while, we, while we are out, is there any information or anything that you would like us to keep our ears open for while we are doing our work? Hmm. Any information that you have would be useful. Understood. I, ref I expect a full report. Now go on, back to your musings. I have a fortress to reconstruct. Yes, sir. All right. Would you guys like to check the satchel? Yep. Yes. It's probably a shitload of platinum or some shit. The satchel has 2,000 gold pieces in it. We don't know gold to, does ratio yeah. to BH. Right. Does anyone even use it around here? <laughs> Remember, King Bell doesn't know that they use dust here instead of gold. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, we don't know if gold to dust ratio does anything. He gave all. us Monopoly <laughs> money, bro! <laughs> Could be worth this. No. Well, it's still a decent amount of for this. Somebody I mean, probably will have a use for this. I can craft things with my. It animal. could be like melted down into ingots and then sold for dust, possibly. And the fact uh, that you gave us this is like more than we asked for. Um, can I do like a check on the gold coin? Is it like any artistic value on it? Any carvings? It's gold. Okay, it's just gold. Yeah. Curious about the map that he gave us, or, well, <laughs> that he drew, produced. What's the nearest no, settlement? The nearest settlement to you? Yep. The nearest settlement to you is a mysterious place called Black Falls Spire. It's actually a short distance away, only about five days or so of travel. Five days going, five days, five days coming back. At least a day to commence and gather. At and least a week to commence and gather craftsmen. Are there any other places that look like they're more populated? What would be the most populated place on the map? Most populated place on the map. Well, if you travel to the Azure region, there are four city-states right next to each other, which probably will have a surplus of people. It seems that there is a lot of people in the Ardent in both Sarkozia and a place called the Ardent Amphitheater. There is also uh, several towns that stretch across the different, well, various places. I mean, it's really about where you want to go. Um, which one looks most uh, developed, so to speak? The most standing what? best, uh, developed. developed in like developed. yeah, developed, developed. I developed? 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 Oh, 
You don't know that. This is just a map, man. Oh, okay. All right. Um, by the limited presence that we had in the noble district, Horus have seen things and been to a lot of shops and whatnot, and others were too. Can we make an estimate how much <coughs> of a workforce we can gather from that yeah. place? Yeah, that's a good idea. Mm, give me... Let's go with history check. Yeah. Can anyone aid on that? 17. Still good. Bab. Ooh, he dabbed. You, you know that the city is is pretty empty. You think that it would be difficult to find one hundred craftsmen. Now finding a hundred workers, that's different. But finding a hundred craftsmen, no, that would be very difficult and unlikely. Because you would have to convince them to leave their home to come somewhere else. Right. Including both favela and the noble district, guys. So, right. Well, the problem is not bodies in the favela; it's skilled bodies. Because yeah. if all um, he, if all Marcellus needed was just bodies, he could raise dead for that. But he can't, because he needs skilled craftsmen. Well, can we train them? Let me, let me tell you something. Could, um, but how long do you think that would take? Um, how long would it take? What a great yeah. question. If I manage to do Ooh. some uh, <laughs> lip service in a very lewd way to Master Leo, we might train some. That might um, be 10, 20 at best. Again, that's in I the think. noble district. That's so one fifth. That's not a little number. As that is let good, me, but... Let me say something. I think Marcellus doesn't expect us to bring a hundred skilled uh, craftsmen. Oh? He, oh, no, he's think, just... Uh, I think, he I, think he I think he's just testing us to see what we can do at, at best. He's like looking our limits. So I think that's highly optimistic and even you know, if that were the case, let's not fail that test. Yeah. Who well, has best best shot aberrations, I think he means it. Our best yeah. shot is actually to not just fulfill his expectations, but overcome his expectations. Exactly. Right. And the Azure, how far is it away from here? The one with lots of towns and four towns? Uh, the Azure is at least a Azure. month and a half of travel. Ah. Well, he could teleport us. He mentioned Question transportation, mark. right? So He did. And uh, does it include coming back? What he do you said think? some, but not all, so I'm assuming. Yeah, no. some, yeah. I don't think he's going to teleport us and a hundred random people. We have to get back with them. Um, slave traders, maybe? They might have some skilled craftsmen. Where would you find I don't think they take traders? gold. Or well, maybe. Or we could just kill the slave traders and say, hey, we have an opportunity. I have a crazy idea. How about we fucking rob the, uh, vessel place? Oh. But they, they didn't have a hundred vessels, uh, even if all of them were... Yeah, they did. Oh, they did? They okay. just weren't all represented yeah. on the map. There's plenty. Okay. We could... But we'd, we'd probably be going up against forces that are outside our uh, abilities. Well, we can definitely afford some. Is it better to die here? Die here or die there? I think, well, if we go back to the Noble District, we have the advantage of already knowing the layout and already having some kind of rapport. But I'd, it'll be a bit harder to gather people, I think, than say a township or some place where there's a lot of people living in moderate desperation that we can offer opportunity to what if we also when we go to the noble district we can also reclaim the reward from the guild for the tomb of sakel okay i think that's the we, least of our, our like or uh, buying the craftsmen 
that we okay. need. Okay. Okay, my logic springs out from this. I have no fucking idea how to work iron. I managed to make this and pull out iron flow with just spacing you. the fuck out. Yes. And how many you think people are there desperate to get the fuck out of the favela under the foot of the fucking dawn? They would take any chance. And if that vessel is the chance that they are willing to take, if we make selective choices, we might actually fulfill this impossible task. He did say that um, we should avoid having an army show up at his doorstep. So, I think we have to do this. this. I like this idea, thing. but we should probably be subtle about it. Yeah. Subtle? Yeah. I don't think it's going to go subtle if that's going to go that way. The Azur was uh, about a month and a half away. Yep. Um, we just don't have enough time to travel to get everybody there. Let's say we succeed in the first two days. We still don't have enough time to get everybody there back to here, even on wagon or on foot. Exactly. We can get there, but we cannot get back. That's the problem. How far is um, travel time is the Noble District? Uh, about three weeks, maybe a month. We can teleport and in a week try to gather the what, what we need. Seven days is more than an affordable uh, time. If we're lucky, we might even arrive early. Plus, it will allow us to get some more rapport with the guild. Plus, it will allow us to get more rewards from that place and that use that rewards in order to recruit? Question mark? Yeah. World Guild. Uh, is there like a craftsman guild also? We might hire the forces. Marcellus returns. Have you decided yet? Um... We are planning on the, the noble, noble district, district is our best or, option. We're considering the noble district as we have um, some understanding of that place already, and we know that there are good craftsmen there who could be of good service. Should we uh, mention the currency thing? What yeah. currency thing? There's a different currency here. Uh, it, they don't use gold; they use dust, oh, and I dust. show the dust. Leon will start to choke. I did not hear an honorific when addressing me. Sorry, Archmage Marcellus. 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 Page, I believe you were stated to speak for them. Listen, look at Curie. Lord Kingvale. The currency here seems to be dust, the capital D kind, rather than gold. Dust. Gold will not suffice? Hmm. I see. Perhaps not. I'll pick up the satchel and kind of just throw it away. I will need time to acquire this dust. Very well. We have some of our own and we will put it to use in the time being. Archmage Marcellus, if I may speak. Granted. We have completed several requests of the Noble District. They owe us said currency for completing said requests. May we could put it to good use, depending on the situation. And how much is it that you would be paid? I think it was a uh, 1.2k, right? Uh, on a, on a, on a clearing out the thing. I gotta check my notes, but that sounds right. It is, uh, I guess, similar to the gold value, <clears throat> but uh, almost as much as you have provided generously. So. 
I believe this dust would be put to better use in enhancing the magics of this fortress. If they will not take gold, <coughs> then perhaps another method is required. One moment. You will do some divination. Uh, it seems that we will need to adjust our strategies. I would prefer a hundred skilled laborers, but I suppose I could suffice with ten. Perhaps they could teach some. But we will need at least a hundred pairs of hands. That is what is calculated. Go forth and gather me bodies. Enslave them if you must. For one odd. Would empty vessels, Lord, Lord Kingdale, would empty vessels be of use? Unlikely. If they are anything like you, they will need a soul present within them. And if there is no soul, then they are not but a useless husk. Understood. While we are on the subject, if you find any other non-human races, bring them before me if you can. I will put in an extra benefit for you if you do so. I wish to study these new races. Their anatomy interests me. Um, Archmage Marcellus, would you be interested in uh, the races that are in my mind? And I will uh, basically think of Gumchuk. Hmm. Interesting. A myconoid. Thoughts are one thing, but specimens are better. You shall be rewarded with the specimen should you bring them to me. But this is a smaller priority than the craftsmen and laborers. Uh, I Rasellus, um, I am an apprentice of a Teladani craftsman of extraordinary power. I see. Well, Bring him to me, then. Yes. Bring me as many no. skilled labor as you can find, but at least a hundred hands. Pairs of hands. Lord Kingvale, anything to avoid specific in our hunt? Being captured or killed, as that would be annoying... Kiro nods. We will not waste our lives in the service of your yours. Good. I have provided transportation you for you. Hey guys, guess what's up? Hmm? <laughs> uh, what's up? I haven't had the it's custom art made part. of it yet, but, um, well. Marcellus has a pet. David Faust, the Dracolich. Holy oh, shit. Oh. Yo. <laughs> pet Dracolich. Looks at oatmeal, but mine's, mine's just as cool. Yeah, so. Like, like your mana pool. It's so You big. will not be walking. Be flying? You will be transported by an undead dragon. Very cool. That's pretty fucking dope. Marcellus will then indicate when you have shut down. when you have gathered up these people, put them in a large area or space, and then draw a circle around them with this, and he will hand Curio a piece of blue chalk. When this is done, so inform David Faust. And he shall inform me that the ritual is complete. Are there any questions? Mm -hmm. Good. Do not waste my time. Okay. Well. 
Sometimes you just gotta fucking love being a necromancer. Feels crazy, man. This is the best timeline, I swear. Let's ride a zombie dragon back to the noble district. Hell yeah. <laughs> should, should, should we land outside in the favela and walk back? Dave and Faust will land outside the city. The creature is not stupid and will not cause a panic. Right. <laughs> Sag, but understandable. Is it put under command of XYZ of us? No. Or... I Just think we're under his command if it wants. <laughs> yes, probably. It will do a task and it will treat you as annoying passengers. Um. Never ending story? The, the, the idea is like if we need to show off power, we can, you know, be like. This is a fucking dragon. Yeah, Devin Faust isn't gonna do that. No, like just pointing at him. No, like I'm no, he's not gonna. Him. He's not. He's not gonna be in pointable distance. Marcellus does not wish to reveal his presence to these other power players. Yeah. Okay, there we go. That 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 explains. Because as powerful as Marcellus is, he is not the biggest fish in this pond. Yeah. Remember, we're the good guys, so we have to be subtle and promise power. Are we? Are we the good guys? Yeah. Rides on the back of an undead dragon, sowing misery and despair. We're the good guys. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know about that there, chief. Quill's gonna pet the dragon. Bad guys. Alright, well anyway, <laughs> that will conclude Greed and Guilt, as I need to write your new campaign. Hell yeah. Oh, oh dear. God. That was a right. We greeted too hard. We mm, lift up to our knees. Who said that? She didn't greet enough. <laughs> Man. New new campaign. Not guilty. Episode one. I'm sorry, Billy. Do you got the name on your head, Arcadum? What, for the new campaign? Name for what? Uh, name for the new campaign. Not yet. Okay. Location, location, location. I was thinking the Vale of Kings, but we'll see. Ooh. So we pretty much agreed to go to the Wood District, right? Yeah. Yup. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, she just named the campaign fuck, ar fuck, fucked around and found out. Yes, sweet talk. Yes, yes. <laughs> very <laughs> much fitting to campaign. <laughs> oh, jeez, dude. Greed around and found found out somebody said it in the chat. <laughs> yeah. Fuck around and get lucky. I don't know if you would call oh, this lucky. Quite, it's quite a cool... You're yeah, alive, is, right? Look cool. is in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> I don't want to fight a beholder. Okay. I was thinking, uh, I might name it Crown and Carrion. Or something like that. Ooh, very good. Something like that. I'll, I'll come up with something spicy. Anyway. <laughs> that will conclude this session. Teehee! <laughs> sweet, Tee -hee as well. sweet Jesus. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. And now it's time uh, uh, for fan art. Okay, no. did we prevent a fucking Godzilla versus King Kong fight in that too? Prevent? Uh. Well, well. A delay. Yeah. A delay. Sure. Sure. Let's <laughs> go with that. Yeah, that's good. Sure. <laughs> I will tell you that him opening Zarkel's tomb would have been uh even worse. worse. So, yeah, so is that is that art it? is that art by Jukebox? It probably yeah. would have been funny. Juke is mad talented. Ooh! Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep, here. Ah! After fifty years, I'm free. <laughs> if if he changed my body, <laughs> I was going to ask him to make me an elf and return me to my original of race. When he tries to speak. 
I just wanted to ask. <laughs> Final episode special fan art? Wait, is that you? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here! I've been yeah. saving it to the last Bro! Bro. Bro, she actually looks like an anime character! <laughs> what the fuck?! Round of applause, everybody! For Jukebox, doing, doing looking Spider absolutely light. amazing. Everyone else, look, yes. look at that gem cosplay, bro! Nice, 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 nice! Holy hey. shit! Hey, Pog. It's not my blushing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> That's fucking great, dude. Good shit. Oh man, oh, man! <laughs> Casually hey, Matt, melts and debones. <laughs> yeah, he does, dude. Normal Tuesday night. <laughs> Fernando, she is role playing herself. That's cheating. Oh. That's that's great. I love this. I love this art. Hey. That's pretty good too, Colossus. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet yeah. man-made horrors beyond my comprehension. Yes. It's Hell always yeah. Halloween in my soul. <laughs> A Dracolich, sweet Jesus. Got him. I mean, do, 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 do you imagine Duke's cosplay going through all of this bullshit? Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna have a cosplay. I was buying every single item I need. Look, man. Then I, look. Oh, no, I bought a then I, then I fucked That's around. Fine. Look, man, it was supposed to be something else, and then you guys were just like, man, what if we just threw the tome into the forge? Wouldn't that be... Fucking crazy! But still is the best timeline, I think. And it was indeed yes. fucking crazy. It was idiotic yeah, and crazy. I accept. Unfortunately, right, cosplay really what I'm doing. Just, uh, just fucking. I'm just gonna yeah. leave that up. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that shit, dude. <laughs> it looks like a fucking anime character. Is it just me? I'm losing it. Yeah. No. Good <laughs> shit. Anime character for sure, for sure. Good shit, jukebox. To cosplay my shit, I would need to, to be available to ship the fucking square lenses to my country, which is uh, not available, unfortunately. God damn. All right. Let's see if there's any Because I already have think. the hair. Let's see. Any submarinos to think? Let's see here. <clears throat> I can't, I can't take it. I'm gonna look at him. Okay, there we go. Jesus. <laughs> she does, she looks like, oh, what is it? Uh, the protagonist of a Korean drama, bro. Like, what is, what is going on? All right, here we go. Chaz Lupin, games too. thanks for the six, yes, yeah, no, not that one. Squid Games 2, <laughs> your arms are gonna get cut off, bro. Chaz Lupin, thanks for the uh, six months. What a cool guy. Hades, thanks for the seven months. Foxy Rocky, Roxy, thanks for the nine months. Working Joe, thanks for the five gifted subs. Dr. Zai, thanks for the 27 months. Welcome back, my friend. Kate Fish, thanks for the five. Sky White, thanks for the five. Durson, thanks for the 10 and 10 again. That my money. is a lot of damage. Durson, you're on the leaderboard. You better keep up with this one. Man. Thanks. Okay, what does that put our subs at? We are at 1,476. I knew that big drop was coming, but okay. Now you're just showing off. All right, stop, Durson. You're That's all the money I got for yeah, a month yeah. of food. Why are you? D <laughs> what? Stop! Just stop, dude. You don't need to eat, remember? Just yes, I. I don't. <laughs> let me. Let me send you the electricity bill as well. No. <laughs> 
What the I fuck? I will not have electricity. Oh my god, alright. <laughs> I can't, can't play game anymore. Bro, I'm, I'm going to ban you if you keep doing it. Just stop. Just stop, dude. Sure, I, I still have the internet and water bills, I guess. <laughs> Man, you know all this reminds me of is fucking Nara telling me how much it actually costs to live where he lives. Makes me want Man. to cut my toenails off, bro. People, when they say that their their the rent is like in, in, in like hundred plus maybe dollars, always m makes me throw a tantrum. I know, right? He was like, the first payment of art you gave me was five months of my rent, and I was like, I'm gonna punch you right in your face. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking do it, bro. I'm gonna fucking do it, bro. <laughs> Really? Now do you have five times discount, perhaps? A five finger discount my fist, bro. Ooh. Anyway, thanks for all the gifted subs, everybody. It really means a lot to me. So. Thanks, Jack. Not my fault you're you. rich. I'm not. I am not, bro. <laughs> Holy shit, am I not. You have no idea uh, yeah, how Yeah, I still close... have my liver. You have no idea how cool. much on the edge I'm living, my guy. Let's all go to Brazil. Let me, oh, no. Let me sell my organs. Be right back. No, 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 please. <laughs> Stop. Oh, my God. Okay, I got punked. Anyway, thank you guys so much for all the support. You guys are the best. With a sentiment. Hope you enjoy. Yeah, now I got to Then we have an ad. Oh, right. I should. I got to remember to do that. Yes, give us an ad at the end of the game, so anybody I really, who wants I, to stay... I really, really have to remember to do that. Yes, that's why I am here. Uh, okay. Anyway. Sorry, can I hear the sound of the bald eagle? Sorry, can you hear that over the sound of the bald eagle? Kaka! <laughs> Money! <laughs> Can I have your liver? Oh god. Peptides? That's... Seriously though. Jukebox. That was a stunning yeah. series of pictures. Holy shit. Yes, very yeah. gorgeous. Oh my god. I'm feeling bad that we are pulling your g gorgeous self through this <laughs> I'm not. That makes it even funnier to me, dude. <laughs> what you doing, right here? Open dreams for my character. Just you know, making just people cry. The fucking noble district. I wanted to be a noble. Now, <laughs> nope. Well, only hatred. Well, mm -hmm. <laughs> only death. Only undeath. Punish the weak. Alrighty. That's gonna be it for me. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys uh, next time. Awesome.